now we have seen the previous experiment number 4 anta madidivi now we are make it uh, making experiment number 5 so what is that see temperature sensor interfacing to arduino so as per the syllabus they have given the same aim like this practice build a circuit using arduino for the temperature sensor and to display the temperature in lcd so we are going to uh, measure the temperature and with the help of soldering gun also we can heat it or if you don't heat what happens room temperature will be displayed on the lcd so here coming to this see what are the components are kit required we need a temperature sensor there are so many temperature sensor like lm35 is there thermocouples are there thermistor is there in that ntc pts like that but better to get accurate results better to go for temperature sensor lm35 this is going to we can measure minus degree to plus 150 degree maximum celsius we can measure that much capacity it has so here temperature sensor we have seen lm35 have to use arduino microcontroller 16 by 2 lcd you know this then soldering gun to heat temperature sensor that's all or if you don't heat also not a problem room temperature will be displayed on the lcd see block diagram see so easily we made for you previously what it was here ultrasonic kit to ee temperature maartta idivi temperature sensor lm35 ee eradu antu enu change agilla that's what we are making you simple and easy for you okay this one at mega 328 lcd what does it mean the temperature sensor is connected interface to arduino microcontroller as a output device lcd is connected so here the temperature sensor is a like we are giving input of the arduino microcontroller so this is an output port with the help of output port we are going to display the temperature in lcd see here we have given it is one kind of temperature where we can measure they have given range minus 55 degrees celsius to minus 55 degree and the end ray i say mm, like that till 150 degree centigrade we can use and we have shown very neatly here first one is vcc ing it go back flat ir bek nim kade it looks like a <coughs> transistor only like bc547 or bc548 like that but you have to read the value if it is lm35 you have to understand that though it is looking like transistor but it is not transistor it is lm35 it is a temperature sensor there are three terminals any of the sensor maximum it will be three terminals only maximum see first one is vcc 5 volt analog output this is very particularly analog output not digital the previous one whatever we did ultrasonic it was having digital output so here one more is ground so what we are going to do you know 5 volt will give here ground will give this analog output is there no that we are going to connect to a not pin in the arduino microcontroller analog pins is our arduino only we have digital as well as analog analog a not a1 a2 a3 are so in the program we are going to connect this output of lm35 analog output we are going to connect to the what analog pin of arduino microcontroller and this is the program to display temperature in degree celsius on lcd using lm35 so here we added include liquid crystal dot h which means all the lcd library files will be added in this then liquid crystal lcd we are defining the pins of rs enable and the data lines for the lcd here the 12th pin of arduino is must be connected to rs and similarly 11th pin should be connected to the enable and the data lines the d4 d5 d6 d7 must be connected to pin number 10 to 7 so in this we are using 4 bit mode to display in the lcd we are using 4 bit so actually we can use 8 bit mode or 4 bit mode since we have ha we have less digital pins so we are going for 4 bit mode here 
Next, float temperature. So since we want to display the decimal point, so we are using float temperature as a variable and wide setup. So here we have to use the setup files of LCD, lcd.begin 16 comma 2, which means that we are using 16 cross 2. So in there are two rows and uh, in each row there will be 16 characters can be displayed. And uh, since we are not using serial here, serial monitor, so I have, I have made it a comment here. So directly I am going to display the temperature value in the LCD. Next, the wide loop. So this loop is going to execute continuous from the parenthesis, beginning of the parenthesis to end of this. Now here we are reading the analog value like temperature is equal to analog read of A0. So A0 pin of Arduino. So here in the LM35 there are three terminals. One is VCC ground and the middle one is analog pin. Analog pin of temperature sensor LM35 is connected to the analog pin of Arduino A0. So now whatever the values are coming to the analog pin of Arduino will be read with the help of this analog read function. That value is assigned to the variable temperature. Now, now temperature is equal to since we want in degree Celsius. So temperature into 0 0.4882 the value we have given. So we get the temperature in degree Celsius that value is assigned to the temperature. So how this 4 0.488 has come I am going to explain later. Now LCD dot set cursor. So set cursor 00, 0. it means setting cursor position to the top left of LCD. So LCD dot print here directly it is we are going to print on the LCD temperature temperature then after a one second delay and we are setting the cursor LCD cursor 0 and 1 in the first line we are going to display LCD temperature is going to display in the first line later LCD dot print whatever the value you are going to get the temperature will be displayed on the LCD the value. So this is not uh, constant this will be value whatever the value we are reading here that will be displayed here and since we want to have more clarity whether it is in uh, foreign degree centigrade or uh, Celsius. So since we are writing beside the temperature value C which represents centigrade. So that will be displayed in the LCD. So here we have taken again one second delay. So the whole program is tested in the real time and by downloading to this your Arduino and if you give connections as per this LCD whatever we have mentioned here and we can display the temperature in the LCD in the real time. So in the program we have written temperature into 0 0.4882. So why we should multiply with that value? So now we know input voltage is equal to 5 volt. In the microcontroller the input voltage will be 5 volt since it is a digital system and we know that ADC is of 10 bit. So 2 power 10 we get a value of 1024. So therefore we have to divide this 5 volt with 1024 and we will get 0 0.00488 millivolt. Now this voltage is in millivolt. Now we have to convert this voltage into millivolt into volt. So to convert that you have to divide with 1000. So whatever you got this millivolt it will be converted into volt. Therefore this is the voltage we got 0 0.00488 volt and if you look at in the data sheet of LM35 they have clearly mentioned 
10 millivolt is equal to 1 degree centigrade. If there is a change for every step of 10 millivolt, there will be increase in 1 degree of centigrade in temperature. Suppose if I get 20 millivolt, I will get 2 degree centigrade. Similarly, for 30 millivolt, I get 3 degree centigrade. So, because of this, we have to divide this value, the above value with 10 millivolt. So, we will get 0.4882. So, because of this reason, we have to divide in the pro, we have to multiply in the program temperature into 0.4882 so that you get the display in the LCD in centigrade. So, now if we see the procedure, first we have to compile the program, then click on the upload button, the program will be downloaded to the Arduino microcontroller. So, before going to that, so when you are downloading, you have to see, go to device manager, check the COM port to which USB to port is connected, then same thing, go to Arduino tools, select the same COM port or see that by default, it may be marked by the help of tick mark. So, if it is marked, no need to select. Then download the program to the Arduino board. Now, as soon as it is downloaded, on the LCD it will display the room temperature in degree Celsius. May it may be around 27, 28, it will be displayed. <clears throat> if you want to increase high, high temperature, if you want to see, then you can take a soldering gun and you can heat it on the LM35. Or if you do not want to use soldering gun, just with the help of your hand, you just touch that LM35, you can see increase in the temperature or till if you tight it, if you just hold it tightly, then the temperature will increase above 30 degrees. So, that we can see without taking soldering gun also. <clears throat> then coming to the conclusion, so we observed that the temperature is displayed on the LCD successfully. Now, I want to show the real time in the downloading to the kit. So, this is the temperature program where we have explained already and now this program I am going to download to the kit to show it in the real time. So, this is the upload button. So, by clicking on this, the program will be uploaded. Now, the program has got uploaded. Now, you can see the room temperature is 24.9. Since here the AC is made on, so it is showing 24.9. Now, if I touch this LM35, you can see increase in the temperature 26. This is my body temperature. Now, I am going to hold it till more tightly. So, a small variation you can see. 